we have to do like a is it how you do it? Yeah. So because we wouldn't have to really keep our tongues out, but we'd have to make it sound like our tongues. I don't know. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. That's my new warm-up now. I gotta say, I've loved Rick and Morty season seven. It has been just as fun as the rest of the show has. Uh Spencer, you and I have talked before, but Ian, welcome to the show. Um, you've talked before about how exciting it was to get this opportunity to step into these shoes, but given how big the shoes these were to fill, how long did it take for you to feel comfortable, you know, in the recording process and everything with being this character? I'll echo that excitement. It it, it bears repeating. Um, and I I came at this I came into this job as a fan first as well. So uh, you know, just I have loved it for the ten years it's been on. And so uh, with that comes great responsibility, right? Um, so I, I don't know if there was a specific moment when I fully felt. Uh, that it, that it clicked in. I think that it's it's uh, it's an ongoing process. It was all summer. It will continue to be as these characters grow. Hopefully, I will too. Um, it, it's it, there were there was a specific moment when uh, Martyr acknowledged that I was part of the team. There was just an idea I had to re-record a line because I wanted to do better, and that was when I felt at home as part of the cast and crew. Uh, and so that was that was a, a wonderful moment. But um, as Rick, I think. I'm happy to be growing with Rick. I don't know that there's a there's a there to get to. I, I think that there's um, certainly stuff I've done vocally that uh, allows me to access the the voice and the sound and the cadence uh, a little easier. Get in the pocket, great. But um, I, I think that Rick is he's a growing human being, as we all are, and so I'm happy to be on a, a moving a journey moving forward with him. Well, I love the journey that you've started with him. Uh, the the transition has been seamless in my mind. So that was the goal. You Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Spencer, I'll come to you next. Summer has quite the weird and exciting adventure in Wet Qua- uh, Mordekin Summer, um, getting fused with Morty. What was your first reaction when you saw the script for that episode? Well, they usually they'll be like, you have a 208 lines today. And I was like, oh, wow, this is going to be a day. Like, because some guys will be like you have 10 lines I'm like great amazing whatever um no I I was like all right well let's just uh, get a good night's rest and come in and do your do your job the way you do it I uh love when I get a episode like this because I get to be basically an action star I get to make lots of different noises I get to imagine I'm I'm badass I you know she's very capable I also got to be like really flirty all these things you know I had a an attribute slider, which was super cool in the beginning of the episode. So there's all these, like, it almost is like I get to be like kind of different versions of Summer when I get to perform that many different aspects to her. So that was fun. It's, I don't, I very rarely get to be like having a a love storyline. So when she feels really accepted into a group of people for the first time, I think that was very important to her. And, and is something that is very true of a lot of people. Like where, where, where does Summer fit in? How does she how does she exist in the world? What's her What's her purpose? Will she ever find love? Um, and you know, and being fused with with Morty because they're just being little bitches and you know, fall into the pool together. Like that's you know that was it was great. It was great. And then she you know like being targeted ads. I feel like Instagram's listening to me right now. Like I'm gonna see like advertisements for Quadros when I go back on Instagram. <laughs> so, um, you know, I I I love that. It's yes, it's what I feel like I've grown into on this show and I hope I get to do more more um superhero y kick ass the action action episodes basically. I'd love to see that as well. I mean <laughs> Summer's Die Hard uh is still one of my favorite episodes. So I'd love to see more of that. Uh <laughs> Ian, I'll come back to you. I mean this show invites a lot of ad libbing uh from the actors, uh, especially Rick in particular. And I'm curious, you know, did you find yourself getting the opportunity to do that a lot this season or were you still trying to kind of find the footing as Rick uh, for season seven's recordings? Yes and no, a little bit here and there. Uh, I would say that the the writing that we're given on the page, it, it doesn't require much more. It's already, uh, it's already written so wonderfully. And so we're given gold on a page and it's, you know, if I can deliver those lines, even as if they're uh, improvised in the moment, that's kind of the, that's kind of the job. Um, so there's, there's not, a ton of um, a ton that I need to do uh, of, of um, 
my own flavor to add on top of the brilliant writing that's already given. That said, uh, once I was a little more in the flow of things this summer and with, of course, the, uh, the support of Martyr and everybody in the room each day when we're recording, um, there were, of course, moments when we could try some alts and we could try some new noises. And uh, it, it is it's delightful when I can make that the other side of the the glass laugh. If if I can get if I can see people chuckling on the other side of what I'm doing, that's that's uh, the the most rewarding part of being in in the recording process for sure. Um, you know, whether it's the delivery of a line or just a little improv I throw in that might not make it to air, but we're all having fun. So I'm glad you get to have that collaborative process. It sounds like quite the blast uh, to be a part of. Uh, Spencer, I'll come back to you. Uh, this show is known for its opening credit montages, uh, generally not making their way into episodes, though this season definitely saw the most of them uh, appear. Now, uh, what is one either from this season or from the past you would love to see come to life, especially in regard to summer oh my god i don't know that's so sad i was just saying i was like these are the ones that catch me up every time do you have one ian because i don't know like as an I'll tell right now. yeah i'll tell you right now one. what's your favorite one <laughs> i'll tell you right now i would love to see a rick balloon in the macy's parade <laughs> as depicted in, in in one of those openings that'd be great in a real life, you mean? Like oh, yeah, a real well, that's life? What that's what I'm saying. I'd love to see that one come true. That's one that's depicted. Come to life? I'd love to see. Oh Is that the question? Was it, which would you just, like to see? Just which one, or explored in like the show? Oh, explored in the show. Well, I like the one where where Jerry is like balancing his legs between the chairs. <laughs> you know, like I was like, what Jerry is that? Like, I want to see that. What world are we in where we're like, Literally, Jerry is like the most valuable man who's ready to just take on the world as a sensei, you know? Um, yeah, I know my son has this theory that the creature at the end is like the final episode of Rick and Morty ever. And I was like, no, Emmett, that's not that they're just being chased by this giant squid, you know, in space. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not, but he's been watching it for so many years now. He's like, no, that's definitely the last one. That's it. That's the one. Um, I know I was just watching all the seasons. So I was like, I'm like, oh, I always remember like the one where they take off the face of Morty and he's a robot underneath. That's from season one. Um, I liked that one. And Jerry's like, ah, you know, that's great. I love Jerry. I think Jerry is always one of my favorite characters. He's, you know, he's gotten much more outgoing now, but I really liked when, you know, that season where they were getting divorced and, and like the wind comes by and it goes, loser, like it just always, I sometimes in my life go like, is it's a joke, right? Like the world is just doing that. This is just a joke. This is what's going on by the universe right now, you know? Um, Yeah. Do you got any other ones? Yeah, it's a, it would be cool if there's a Macy's Day Parade for real. Yeah, he's so he's um, definitely a, uh, a I, I'm saying Jerry has definitely got some of the best one liner or, you know, my favorite one liners. <laughs> um, as far as the this season's title sequence, I, vocally, I think it'd be interesting to to to, to tackle snowboarding on our tongues. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I would mechanically, <laughs> physically do that but um yeah if they throw that at us that'll be fun no, it, 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 it's not episode like good but right, uh, yeah. that's how we'd have to do it, it. Doing, the voice, like, doing the voice doesn't have enough of a, ch a challenge to itself you have to now stick yeah, your tongue you, we have to do like a is this it is this how you do it yeah. so because we wouldn't have to really keep our tongues out but we'd have to make it sound like our tongues. And, uh, that dub. I, I, I don't know it's yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my new warm up now. I'm just going to do that. I'm just my tongue out. We, we use telepathy in that episode. We just, you know, we, so our There's voices would be regular. There's the way around it. There's, There's no it. actual voices. They're <laughs> just telepathic <laughs> sound. Yeah, like Quados. There you go. Like Quados, exactly. Although Thing. If you do the if you do the tongue thing, there's got to be some behind the scenes footage to show just how. Oh my god, the there will be. I'm yeah, sure. I you know with some of the things I do to make sounds, I I'm like I don't even know. I, this might get flagged. Like if I'm, like, <laughs> you know, like some of the things you're just like get flagged. I can't show people this. This is yeah. This is too much. <laughs> I have stains on on my script from seven oh five from from whatever was spittling up during that that epic scene there. And you should ask Harry about his uh, his process for getting into the Morty voice. He's, he's got a whole thing. He does. 
I will definitely have to, especially as I see I am out of time. So I'm going to have to let you both go. But thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, Spencer, it was great catching up with you. And Ian, welcome to this wonderful world. I look forward to hopefully talking to you when season eight comes around. Hope so. Thanks so much, Grant. Absolutely.